just the way is not working properly. Who okay. cares? Continue recording. Oh, hundred percent. Maybe making audio may not be fully recorded. It's okay. I don't care because I'm recording it as audio. Anyways, thank you so much for joining in this one. Ex- <laughs> amazing and one of the coolest videos we are going to talk about. My five daily steps to fast track making money. So this is something I do on a daily basis. Sometimes alternate basis. When I'm so very low, I try to do this. I try to make a part of doing this one activity on a daily basis, especially when I'm low, because both then how I'm able to do, chit chat how I'm able to do, it kind of gives you that energy and stuff. So I did that in the morning. It kind of gave me a chill. It kind of gave me goosebumps, and I was like, I decided to make this video a part of today's video for you, which is going to benefit you. Uh, what is the topic? Five daily steps. Or five ways to fast track making money. So we are not going to talk about the strategic part of it. How do you make money? The webinars, workshops, like we are not talking about that. But then one of the ways of how can what should I be doing on a daily basis that can help me do that? So it's not about tracking, not about timeline, but then it's all about travel. How do you travel? Cool. Or how do you travel? But then how can that? Anyway, thank you so much for joining in. May peace and blessings be upon you and your loved ones. We are going to talk about five daily steps. Now I'm so excited about this one. Uh, By the way, I recorded another video which was six fastest ways to being su being confident with your superpower. If you are not confident with your superpower, you can just type in those keywords. Being confident with your superpower, you will find that six fastest ways. I just recorded for you. Khalaf khalaf, I've recorded it. I'm going to publish it now. The first step of this one video is going to be one of the coolest things I would say is anchor your dream destination. It's going to be one of the most principles. Let me see someone home. Kids are home. Yeah. They are going to be sure sharaba. Then we have to wrap it very fast. Anyways, so the first and foremost thing is like you need to be anchoring your dream destination. So when it comes to, I'm already distracted. When that's that's why I've got these things. You know, it's like. So that I don't get distracted. Anyways, so when you are anchoring your dream destination, which means you want to travel a certain place, stop being distracted. So when you want to travel a specific place, that already you have in the mind, so do this exercise along with me. So what is that one place that you want to travel? Put that into picture. Like bring that into existence. Like okay, I want to travel, for example, Maldives, or Mauritius, or Turkey, or Istanbul, or Egypt. Anyways, put that in the picture. Like bring that into existence. Like put that out. I am going to travel this one place. What do you want to be doing is anchoring that emotion. When you want to anchor that emotion, it is something that you do on a daily basis. Not on a daily basis, but it is something you want to consistent. Not even consistent. It is something you do on a regular and frequent basis. Anchoring that emotion. Point number two is put a budget to that travel. This is something I don't do because I have done it so many times. I don't do it now. Then put a budget to that one travel. How do you do that? Okay, I want to be traveling Maldives for like four days. Okay, you go and research how much the hotel is going to cost, how much I mean they are going to provide you food. So how much the hotel is going to cost, how much the flight tickets are going to cost you, how much if you want to buy something. So you are you are putting the whole itinerary, and now what is going to ha- you are planning it in a way you are putting the budget in a way that you are going to travel next week. But you don't have money every anyway, right? You want to build. You just you want to anchor that emotion for the moment. When you are anchoring it, when you put a budget to this, uh, this I'm going to wrap it very fast. Put a budget to this travel. When you're putting the budget to this travel, you are actually going and researching, you're seeing the maps, you're seeing the hotels, you are uh, <coughs> you're doing all sorts of cool things. When you're doing all sorts of cool things, you are ha- you, you, your energy levels are going to increase. That's how you are going to fast. Like I'm going to make money. Very fast, so that I can go to that place. Cool. Point number five, point number three is plan how much you need to make as a revenue. Now this this is going to be really important. Right? Second part was you planning it. Third point is now plan how much you need to make as a revenue. You are not beyond. You are not into the job. You are into a business, into entrepreneurship. So you are, when you are making hundred percent of your income, that hundred percent is not your income. That hundred percent may say ten percent is going to be your income. Or twenty five percent is going to be your income. Generally, it's the way we follow the cool. If you don't know the cash flow management coolness, <coughs> this one video that I did, I showed you two cool concepts of cash flow management system. Where uh, I follow the second method. The first method was given by my mentor. So there's like ten percent that we allot with every revenue for traveling, fifteen percent of every revenue to personal expenses. So when you are the whole revenue. So if say for example, 
10 percent is equal to your travel money okay so how much in total has to be made so that for example if, if that travel is going to cost you say 50,000 rupees okay so that 50,000 rupees is 10 percent of the whole revenue how much do you have to make now and a month into making 5 lakh rupees so that you are not using 90 percent because that is for that is a lot of for different things and all that's like the whole revenue part of it this 10 percent is going to be your travel expenses so you need to be making that amount of money so when you when we let's let's geek out more over here when we talk about okay five lakh rupees if you have to make five lakh rupees okay five lakh rupees divided by five thousand rupees for example if that is your uh, the product that that's your service something so when you divide that okay how many students you need to be having how many students you need to have when you want when you how much how many students you need to be having you need to be winning how many people are going to join your webinar how many how much is going to be the show operate based on the show operate how many people are going to open your emails based on your open it how many people are, how many people are going to see your landing page based on how many people are going to see your landing page how many people are how many people you need to be reaching out to generate leads so you do the whole ultra process it becomes easier for you and it becomes slightly overwhelming for you but you know the reality okay it's not going to be that easy i just made a plan of like 50,000 rupees but it's not going to be easy but then you can see the reality like if i can do this 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 is this i'll be able to do that because you deserve the amplification point number three point number four is now you start taking the now steps now that you have the clear blueprint in front of you okay i need that much amount of money into the advertisements into the tools into the systems so that i can generate this amount of revenue when i generate this amount of revenue what is going to happen is i'm going to just take 10 percent of the travel expenses say plus 15 percent 25 percent of the travel expenses plus your personal expenses and travel that pretty good. plus that when you have the blueprint you now say okay what do i have to do today the now steps now when you start taking the now steps you know the priorities Good. now the fifth one is repeat this again tomorrow you do it once you forget about it you do it again the other day you do it again the other day you do it on the other day until the sixth bonus one for you it until you travel to that destination keep on repeating keep on repeating until you do this so that on a daily basis you are living that moment you say okay, this is the budget i need to have this is the, this is the reveal that i need to be making when i can do these two things that's when you get to travel so you're anchoring the dream destination on a regular basis you don't have to do on a daily basis but on a regular basis and especially on the days we don't feel good especially on the days when you feel pathetic low on energy i do that when i'm low on energy emotionally drained out, when I'm emotionally clouded, when I'm stressed out, I generally build this Ahava Mahal in a way on, a, on those specific days so that you come out of that state of being self-centered and focusing too much on yourself and start working on the now steps. Okay, it is a bit now. To rush, today we are recording this on 11th of July, by the way, 11th of July, 8th, 10th. Thank you so much for making this video. Me and the topic about it, I'm so excited to meet kids. Uh, and thank you so much. I'm going to see you in an, another exciting video. So go, go anchor, like put anchor, anchor your dream destination that you want to visit and start making money. Thank you so much. I'm going to see you in your dream destination. Thanks.